Welcome to Wonder, Explore, Discover. Today we're going to explore Maryborough in Queensland. We're going to hang out with Mary Poppins. The lovely heritage city of Maryborough is located 254 kilometres north of Brisbane on the Mary River. It was once Australia's busiest port and first boomed with wool, then gold, timber and coal. From 1859, more than 22,000 immigrants came from across the world to Maryborough to stake their claim on their own piece of Australia. Maryborough has stunning street art, beautiful historical buildings and fantastic military memorabilia. It is the birthplace of Mary Poppins, author Pamela Lydon Travers and is home to the quirkiest public toilets in Queensland. If you want more places to wander, explore and discover, subscribe to our channel for new videos every week. In today's video, we'll show you the highlights of our recent visit to Maryborough. We wander through the Cistern Chapel, visit the Story Bank and view the colourful street art. We learn about Maryborough's military history along the Gallipoli to Armistice Memorial and at the Military Museum. We explored the Portside Precinct with wonderful heritage buildings and enjoyed coffee and cake at the Portside Cafe. On Thursday, we wandered through the markets and watched the Mary Ann steam train in the Queen's Gardens. One of Maryborough's newest and quirkiest attractions is the Cistern Chapel. These fancy public toilets near the City Hall are adorned with ornate Victoriana themed decorations. The men's toilets feature trains and steam, highlighting Maryborough's heritage and an under the sea theme in the cubicles. The ladies' toilets are painted in a Victorian theme and also include the crimson bottle brush, which is the floral emblem of Maryborough. There is also piped music, chandeliers, gilded mirrors and a gold toilet. The parents' room features a countryside scene with rainbows, farm animals, Mary Poppins and a miniature hot air balloon suspended from the ceiling. Artist Arcos Duaz and Gary Madden drew inspiration from Michelangelo's work, transforming the restrooms into a must-see artistic experience. Maryborough is the birthplace of Mary Poppins author Pamela Lyndon Travers. You can learn more about the creator of the world's most famous nanny, her life and literary works at the Story Bank. The Story Bank is open Tuesday to Sunday from 9.30am. Helen Lyndon Goff, who wrote under the pen name Travers, was born in the upstairs bedroom of this building when it was the Australian Joint Stock Bank and her father was the manager. The colourful and interactive displays showcase Mary Burroughs' unique connection with Travers and commemorate the story of her life, her family and the influences on her writings.
The pedestrian lights near the Story Bank building and around the CBD have images of Mary Poppins. When the lights are red, Mary Poppins has her umbrella down, and when they turn green, the umbrella goes up. You can collect the Maryborough mural map from the visitor centre and wander along the two kilometre trail in the city. Whilst admiring the murals, you can learn more about Maryborough's colourful trail as each mural has an informative plaque with information about the artist and the artwork. Duncan Chapman, who was born in Maryborough, was the first Allied soldier to step ashore at Gallipoli. At the Gallipoli to Armitus Memorial on the edge of Queen's Park, you can learn about his sacrifice and the many other Australians who followed in his footsteps through a series of interactive dedications. The Maryborough Military Museum is housed in an 1879 heritage building on Wharf Street with over 10,000 exhibits. It is the most extensive collection of military memorabilia outside the Australian War Memorial in Canberra. It is open seven days a week from 9.30am. Portside Precinct is Maryborough's historic port area with beautiful heritage buildings, a lovely park, cafes, hotels and lovely views over the Mary River. We wandered around looking at the stunning heritage buildings in this area which are great examples of colonial Queensland architecture. Custom House was built in 1899 and is a stunning building with delicate cast iron lacework known for its appearance in the Kylie Minogue movie, The Delinquents. The Portside Cafe and Restaurant is situated inside the original Customs House residence. We sat on an outside table and enjoyed our coffee and cake. The Maryborough Courthouse was built in 1878 and has been continuously used since then, making it the longest serving and oldest courthouse in use in Queensland. The Maryborough Post Office was built in 1866 and is the oldest post office of its kind in Queensland. The 
Mirribara Markets is held every Thursday morning from 7am till 12 noon in Adelaide Street. There is a large range of stores from farm fresh produce, handmade arts and crafts, jewellery, clothing, accessories, fresh cut flowers, coffee and food vans. The Heritage listed Queen's Park was established in the 1860s and is one of the oldest botanic gardens in Australia. It is located in the centre of Maryborough and has 5.2 hectares of gardens and grassed areas with a lovely waterfall and a stunning historical rotunda. It also has military memorabilia and several musical instruments you can play. On Thursdays you can ride the Mary Ann, a B-15 steam locomotive. This is a full-size replica of the first steam engine built in Queensland by Walkers Limited in Maryborough in 1873. We hope you enjoyed today's video. You can find more information and places to explore at wanderexplorediscover.com.